I've been in this beautiful country for six years. It's the only civilized country left on the planet. Well, jazz music is, uh, is not sad, and blues really isn't sad. It's just a way of expressing feelings. Uh, you know, any kind of a, um, a musical event, there's a great bond between the audience and the uh, musicians. And when the musicians start playing in front of a uh, discerning audience who really appreciates them, they play harder. Then the audience gets into it and they feed on each other and you get some fantastic music. When I first came to Auckland, uh, I had trouble posting one gig a week. Today, if I wanted to, I could post four or five gigs a week. The jazz awareness in Auckland has really, really risen. And a lot of people now are aware of jazz, or where before they weren't. And a lot of people now who have never heard jazz are coming and listening to this great music and really getting turned on by it. <laughs> this is a, a jazz musician who's developing his chops. He's an emerging artist that has emerged. And that's why he has a big crowd here tonight, because everyone appreciates what he's doing. Thank you very much for the beautiful music tonight, man. He's the man in jazz, and he's, well, we better not say he's a benefactor, but he, he, he uh, appreciates jazz and, and uh, gives back to the jazz community, shall we say. <laughs> Is that every week there's a different group, and every week there's a different audience depending upon who is playing. But then you have regulars like uh, John and myself who are always here. Among this jazz community, uh, uh, except enjoying the music, did you uh, also made a lot of uh, friends uh, who have the same interest about jazz? Oh yes, yeah, we've got regular friends here and Jeff with me right here. Brought my sister, sister's visiting town, so she's a musician, so we... And me as well. Like you, yeah.